I'm John Ketchum. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. In 2021, I had prostate cancer, treated by a radical prostatectomy. And then this past January, I had renal cancer, treated by a partial nephrectomy. Between the two cancers, I now have 14 stab wounds, seven from my radical prostatectomy, and seven here from the partial nephrectomy. Those are in addition to my five inch incision from my appendix burst back in 2001, plus three smaller incisions from that same surgery and three follow up patch repairs on those incisions as well. But I refuse to succumb to a victim mentality. As Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl said, everything can be taken from a man, but one thing. The last of the human freedoms, he called it. The ability to choose our attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose our own way. I believe our wounds are how our light gets out. This light is intrinsic in each and every one of us. It's always there. As we allow ourselves to shed our egos, to be vulnerable, to be wounded, it allows our light to shine forth, to encourage others that they can make it through hardship as well. And that's why I make these videos. One of the silver linings of having had cancer twice now is that it serves as a really good litmus test for how people really feel about you. Any major calamity can serve a similar purpose, right? You might think you know who your inner circle are, but do you really? You might find in the presence of illness that people who you thought were your ride or die are completely absent in your greatest time of need and vulnerability. You'll be equally surprised to see the people that do show up who you didn't even know were part of your team. Tibetan Buddhism teaches us that our attachments are one of the primary causes of all suffering. They refer to them as poisons or fires. Our attachments to people, events, and things, struggling with them, fighting for what we want them to be, and denying ourselves to what they actually are. Letting go of our attachments is the only way to achieve true inner peace. Maya Angelou says, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time. My good friend, Will Reardon, tells me that I am one of the mentally strongest people he knows. He said, don't let it jade your feelings, John. Just keep riding above like you always do. It's quite impressive to witness. I'm not feeling all that particularly impressive at the moment. Quite the opposite, actually. But I am filled with a profound sense of joy and gratitude to still be on this side of the dirt. Life is far too fragile, far too short to spend it any other way than in happiness and gratitude, thanksgiving for the chance to become all that we were meant to be for the ability, the opportunity of another day. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that these inspire you to let your light shine for others as well. You deserve to be seen, heard, and recognized. You deserve to be treated with love and respect. Don't settle for anything less. And in the words of Sylvester Stallone, everybody keep punching.